Yep, she's going to blow up. So I think the verdict's out that I have a weird obsession with floating furniture. And for some reason, I keep thinking of more. The cave table is probably my favorite piece so far. And I think I have a complimentary concept that's gonna get real, real weird that I definitely am terrified and excited to try. So to the table saw, let's cut some wood. So the concept here is I want to have a round top and this is gonna look similar to the lava table, if you guys remember. And then I want the base to kind of like in a slow progression, like twirl down. And in order to do this, I think it all needs to be end grain. What I'll do is I'll just stack a bunch of pieces that kind of follow the curves path. And then from there, should be able to carve it. The top, I'll do the same and I have to make random length pieces to kind of make it look wavy. Um, and to do that, we have to make essentially a segmented ring so I busted out a segmented ring calculator on my phone. We've got a couple things set up. I need 20 pieces to get me the width, the circle I think I want to do with seven and a half degree bevels. We've never done anything like this before, so it could get squarely. Let's rip. Excuse the fans, it's still hot as Satan's grundle in here. What I want to do is create a bunch of such a random length parts. I need 20 pieces for my segment. I'm pretty dumb, so this prop might not work, but I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna chop a bunch of paired parts and then we're gonna kind of lay out the top. Okay. Figure out if I'm as dumb as I look. That's 24. This is the shitty tape. Here, let me help you. Well, no, that's bad. Can you give us a real control of tape? Yeah. Okay, so a couple things going on here. One, never done a segmented glue up. Two, I have no idea what species of wood this is. And three, I don't know what the most efficient way to do this is. So we're just gonna put glue on one side at a time. And I'm gonna build it standing up because it's super awkward. And then uh, put some band clamps on it to hope, it, to hope this works. For the sake of this absurdity, what we're gonna do now is start gluing our pieces around. And what I'm gonna do is just make a spiral that comes the whole way around. And I'm gonna use the uh, a little CA glue clamp in order to do so. The last table like this that we did, I learned my lesson, that stuff wanted to explode apart. So you put a little CA glue on the end and then on your cord, it's gonna go. We can put on Piece. I'm gonna incrementally bring these in so that the spiral kind of comes to the center. It should just hold it together enough to where I can get straps and tape and some other good stuff around it to let this glue become the main ball. All right, so I got the top out of glue up and we're gonna essentially make an end grain cutting board out of this because of the way that the wood is going to expand and contract on the top. If I was to encapsulate it in this spiral thingy, um, it would potentially blow itself apart. So by doing an end grain board, just like the cave table, everything should expand and contract much less. It should be a little bit more stable. So a little bit of planing and then some cut. See if the thing falls apart. Yeah. That should work. My brain vision, brain fart, whatever you want to call it, for this is I want it to sit on one foot and spiral around, and I'll add some texture to it. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of draw that in. And I'm dumb. I thought by stepping these in, I'd be able to, because of the way it was moving, would tighten spiral and kind of keep it inside and it just stepped it outside on this part so now it's just gonna make my life way way harder we'll see though i'm 
I'm gonna shape it. I'm gonna try to rough out like the Sharpie line that I made. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have an explanation. I'm just making shit up as I go. Which is half the battle out here. Exactly what I was fearful of, that vibration. Now that I've got these in parts, I'm gonna try to bandsaw them out. Cause why the hell not? Let's try this again. Use a different glue this time. I want it to look like really smooth. But the problem is when you carve, you're gonna put pressure on it and you're gonna have to keep gluing. Yep, she's gonna blow up. <laughs> is that Ben Petrol, woodworking expert? Stick with me, new YouTube channel, Ben Knows Things. Ben Knows Best. Children, my spiral is back to looking like a spiral, which means now I get to explode it apart again, trying to carve it. So That's I got the cuts all wheel out. And what I'm gonna do is just see if I can get some rough shaping done and some supporting mounting to eliminate that vibration. That's why I think it blew apart, obviously. But who knows with this shit? I mean, I'm literally making this up as I go. Obviously, there's no tutorial on how to do this. Let's go. progress check. It's got a little bit more shape to it. Looks more like an old log than what I was hoping. Can you just break it? Mm -hmm. I can't work with this guy. Well, this is looking weird. I think we were going for weird. So I started smoothing some stuff out. I had to put some more epoxy in than the one part here. We knew this was gonna be an issue. That's exactly what it's been. But I wanna add some more movement to the shape. Pretty cool, I dig it, but I think I wanna like make the carvings have some more swoop. Now that I have like a smooth surface to draw on, doodle, golden doodle. Yeah, and kinda just like go with it, I don't know. All right, so as Jens just saw, I exploded this thing for the fourth time, I believe. And with that, I took a step back, had a few deep breaths, perhaps a tiny heart attack. We used wood glue. Wood glue is gonna give us great penetration and a good bond, and then we just taped this thing up and it's been sitting for a day or so now. And we're gonna get back to it. But the reason it keeps exploding, and I wanna explain this to you guys, if you're ever carving or working on a project that has an arm that's extended and sticking out and unsupported like this, the vibration of whatever tool you're using is detrimental to the integrity of that arm. You can shake this thing and the whole thing is gonna shake more than this, which is supported down here. Keeping that in mind, don't make the same mistakes I do. I'm learning as I go. And I know Yins are learning as you watch me learn and be stupid as well. A little tidbit for you. If the arm's long, support it. Let's get back to carving. So after putzing with this for no less than 10 hours, at least, I don't like it. <laughs> Weird how that happens. So I'm gonna revert back to like the way that the other chair and the cave table kind of looked. And I'm gonna carve it that way. I was going for something a little more smooth here, but the reason it doesn't look good is because it doesn't look good. <laughs> I have no shame in admitting when I create hideous things. All right, well, time to turn on some Pantera. Let's rip. Well, this thing keeps breaking in the literal same spot. I don't know, I was kind of liking the direction it was going. It looks super weird. Kind of like a twirling plane. I think what I'm gonna do, carve a bunch more with this off, and then come back, then try to glue it on and finish the rest of it tomorrow. But I think we gotta put some kind of tenon in there, which is gonna be hard. Sometimes it sucks being awesome. So I'm sick and tired of this thing breaking in the same exact spot every single time. We're gonna try to put a short dowel in there to give it a little bit of an integral strength. I don't know, I hope this works. Hopefully for the last time, I get to take whatever I used to strap this thing up off and let's see if she gonna stay together. Cause I don't know what I'm gonna do if this thing breaks again. Tell you what, sometimes 
when you fabric cobble a bunch of things together and it actually works, it makes you literally feel like you're a genius. You know what else is genius? Policy genius. This week's sponsor. If you're not familiar, Policy Genius is an online marketplace for life insurance. And if you don't think you need life insurance, you're probably wrong. Because most of us have families these days or people that actually care about us. And you gotta take care of those who rely on you for support just in case something happens while you're doing weird stuff like this. Policy Genius has over a dozen top insurers in one marketplace. And you can save 50% or more by comparing quotes for life insurance on Policy Genius. Another huge benefit of their platform is that eligible applicants can get coverage in as little as a week. And this is because they have their award-winning policy swap, which allows them to forego the standard medical exam and get it all done with a phone call, which is awesome. I do have to say I've gone through the rigmarole of getting life insurance and Policy Genius makes it quite easy and quite seamless. And it is a much more enjoyable experience than the traditional experience. So if yins are looking to get yourself some life insurance to take care of those you love just in case something ridiculous happens to you, check out policygenius.com forward slash Malecki. I got a link down in the description. And when you're ready to apply, Policy Genius will take care of all the scheduling and paperwork and headaches that go along with applying for life insurance. Thank you, Policy Genius, for supporting this absurdity. Now, um, let's see if I can carve this into some more beautiful buttery, whatever you want to call this. All right, so the top here, uh, Sam got it out of clamps. He gave it a nice little sanding. Uh, it's looking awesome. We need to insert it into the top of the table. I want it to sit down in there, and in order to do so, we're gonna cut this into a round, and then we're gonna take a template, attach the template to the top here, and I will mortise, I won't mortise. I guess that would be like an edged dado something. Some kind of woodworking terminology groove. Correct me and tell me what you think that groove should be called. Around this outside here, and then it should drop right in. And because it's edge grain, we're gonna make it a slight bit bigger and this should press fit down in there, fit nice and snug. We'll get that all cleaned up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna finish carving this SOB. Okay, let's blue tape trick this some bitch in. Okay, get this top in here, and then uh, we'll get to the final sanding, and then revealing our tricks. All right, and so now for the magical moment when we make this sucker float, we're using our good friend again, acrylic. She ain't gonna finish herself, so let us spray. Now the most enjoyable part about working with acrylic, peeling off the paper and then lighting it on fire. But that's pretty cool. Get you at just the right angle. Can't even see the screws. It's a table. Now for buttery B roll. And that's gonna be a wrap on this abundance of squirreliness. If yins like projects like this, I need some more ideas. So leave those down below. I also have a playlist for you. You can watch at least five more of them right here.